don't know if y'all heard me in the back, turn your speakers, turn your volume, turn everything up. I have. channel where I report news about my life while being open, honest, and transparent as much as possible. So, <clears throat> look at that title. Look at that title. I'm just saying the word or the word of the video, I would say, is going to be body yada 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 All of that. Because this body yada yada is body yada 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 So, so as you guys can see by today's title, this is my six month update did i hit wonderland you gotta stay tuned i gotta give you guys the gems for this month so before i get started don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that bell button so you never miss an upload okay let's get started okay so for this month let me just tell y'all just when you think it ain't gonna go the way you planned or it ain't gonna go the way god or just any higher being that you believe in, envision, oh, the jokes is on you. Okay, with that being said, as always, I have the notes written down on my phone. So, first things first, I really enjoyed cooking this month. And you're probably like, Linnea, you've cooked all your meals. No, for real. I really enjoyed cooking this month. I really enjoyed just preparing my meals. As I said in the last video, I generally enjoy seeing the food that is being prepared and knowing the ingredients that I'm putting in my food, knowing what to put in, what to not, and just all around preparing. And I think I also enjoyed it just because I'm living on my own now. So I think me preparing my own meals, I kind of get the feel of like adulting, if that makes any sense. So that's also a caveat to this month update. I really enjoyed cooking my own meals. I started making like chicken fajitas. I saw a recipe on TikTok. If y'all not on TikTok, granted, I don't have a TikTok account. I just look at videos on TikTok. But if y'all don't have a TikTok account, y'all really should get on it. Only because TikTok be, it be throwing the gems. And that the chicken fajita recipe. And then also I made like a DIY kind of mash bowl. Kind of like what you get at KFC. I'll try to find a picture of what I'm talking about. But it's been hitting. And salads have been my go-to. I recently started adding adding excuse me mangoes to my salad like fresh chunks of mango hitting hitting let me tell you and so, also another thing that I've noticed or just kind of seen about myself is I've been noticing my neckline even more this month because it's defining because this body yada yada is body yada yada do you hear me I've noticed kind of like my neckline and even my jawline is starting to define more or just become more structured if that makes any sense and I've noticed it a lot more in my pictures and especially in my last video when I was looking back on editing that video I was like okay check you out mommy check you out you you looking like a baby so that's been something that's really boosted my confidence and just really just made me feel good Beyond the weight loss, beyond the number going down on the scale, I would consider this like a non-scale victory because I've noticed it more beyond just a physical number and just physical features in myself. And I just feel good. Another thing that has happened this month that I would like to update you guys on is I've changed my multivitamins. So I've gone in between the brand Centrum and then the brand Vetafusion. So Vetafusion, I've had the calciums. But then the Centrum brand I had in the multivitamins. So I've started getting to a place where I kind of want to take the same everything with it comes to medicine, just my multivitamins, my calcium, my biotin, all of that. I kind of want to stick to the same brand as much as possible. So I recently switched to the Vetafusion's women multivitamins and it's working wonders. I feel good. No significant changes to report or no changes that's alarming. It's still the same. But that's something that I started, I want to say, a couple of days before month six. And then I've been continuing that since month 
six has started. So that's been the major, I guess, change in kind of like my daily vitamin and kind of medicine regimen. Another thing that I'm like, it's probably TMI that I've noticed is gas. I don't know what's been going on this month. I don't know if it's the way I'm fixing my food. I don't just know if it's my body. I don't know what it is, but I've had so much gas this month and it's been them silent killers. And it's not, that's probably like, okay, well, man, you're giving way too much information. But I've noticed compared to other months that I've had a lot of gas. And I'm just like, was that me? Like, who? And it don't, it's not that it smells. It's just, it's frequent. Like, I'm doing it a lot. I'm hoping that that continues to fade because I've noticed it a lot more this month compared to any other month. So I'm not sure if this like a month six kind of taboo thing i don't know what it is but that's just something that i really noticed during month six particularly when it comes to just weight loss and just surgery related i don't really know if it's surgery related necessarily but i've noticed it a lot this month now on to the nitty gritty y'all when i tell y'all weight loss has been playing this month i was on a stall for three weeks that has been the longest stall that i have ever been on i've only been on the stall once before and i think that was like month three month four but this six month i was on the stall for the first three weeks of this month and i was just like oh come on like i know i see the physical features like i know i see the visible differences in pictures and family and friends telling me but i was literally stuck at two oh three for like two weeks then i went to 201 and then i was stuck at 200 for like two weeks and i'm just like okay what 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 is going on but but let me tell y'all how that man up there works in mysterious ways something that i did that i'm not sure is necessarily connected to kind of breaking a stall because i don't know if necessarily you break a stall but the last time or the first time i should say that i was in a stall i remember playing it back i ate mashed potatoes and i'm not saying that has anything to do with it but this week i ate mashed potatoes the next morning i broke my stall how could you not i'm not sure if that has anything to do with it I'm starting to think it does. Granted, if I get in a stall again and I eat mashed potatoes and it breaks my stall, I'm going to just tell you, mashed potatoes break your stall because that just seems to be the pattern. I was thinking about it when I was just trying to play out kind of the things that I was going through in my first stall. And I was going through the your hormones, the changes in your body, all of that. But I was trying to vividly think about the things that I was eating during that time period. And I remember eating mashed potatoes and I don't know why this stuck with me so i ate mashed potatoes this week and the store dropped like i was just like mashed potatoes might be a thing i don't know if i've seen it somewhere i don't know where the idea came in or kind of like me i can't tell you don't know can't even fathom how that happened but it broke that baby like it bam 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 y'all <laughs> exciting news <laughs> i have officially officially reached wonderland <laughs> i don't know if y'all heard me in the back turn your speakers turn your volume turn everything up i have officially reached wonderland And for those of you who do not know, Wonderland and the VSG or just bariatric community is when you are 199 and below. So no more than 199. Y'all, that mashed potato did the trick, baby. I don't know what it did, but I'm convinced that it did it. So y'all want to know my weight? Y'all want to know? Y'all want to know? Y'all want to know? I'm going to tell y'all. So y'all, look at that picture right there right there what that say i can't one what i am 199 pounds 
Y'all. 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 That's. Did y'all see that? Because. What? When I tell y'all I was stuck at 200 pounds for like two and a half weeks. Not even kidding. Like the first couple of days after the last video, I believe, or just month five, I lost three pounds in a matter of maybe six days. And I got to 200. I was there for like three weeks. And I was just like, okay, what's going on here? Because you got to tell me something. Because clearly I, I don't know. But y'all, I am 199. 199. Wonderland. Oh. Oh, mm, 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 mm. that's my happy dance. <laughs> that's my happy dance. I am at 199 pounds. I cannot believe it. It's exciting. It's just, I'm filled with so many different emotions that I just can't even fathom kind of like where this has gone and kind of how fast mom six, like how six months since VSG like I can't even understand how that happened so this month in total I have lost four pounds <laughs> Baby. I have lost four pounds I am at 100 it feels so good to say one in front of the number I'm at 199 pounds this month speechless like I, I can't even like share kind of like what that is so last month I was at 203 and then this month, I'm going to say it again, I'm at 199 pounds. I have lost, what? I have lost 52 pounds since the day of surgery. I have lost, let me tell y'all again, I have lost 52 pounds since the day of surgery. More importantly, since the day that I have decided to take control over my health. Diabetes, you you ain't winning this fight because I'm just so so happy. Like I'm speechless. Like I I I'm tongue tied because I'm just so just thankful. I'm just so blessed. I'm so happy. I'm just so just happy. Like I can't even describe any other emotions besides happiness because that's truly the only emotion that I feel throughout this whole entire process and just understanding how everything has just changed so far and it's just so refreshing to not only of course see the number go down but just body yada yada because I'm a bad <clears throat> insert you know what I'm just gonna say that wraps up for today's video guys I hope you guys enjoyed this update stay tuned for more videos but you guys know before I Give a shout out, a shout out, a shout out, Let's go to the comments. We at the comments. Boom. Okay. Shout out goes to Do It with Rena. Shout out to you, sis. Thank you for the constant love and support. And if you would like a shout out in one of my future videos, comment down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. See, I just said we're gonna do this in one.